He had a big J for me in Amsterdam. <laughs> Not what I thought you meant, bro. <laughs> As soon as we booked this battle, I hit up Bag and said, let's get drugs. <laughs> Magic truffles. Oh, man. I eat those. <laughs>what's good we're back here at training day this is my birthday shout out to everyone out and celebrating it with me you know the score man it's checkpoint the third and final day of a fucking boat weekend we're here on a sunday afternoon secret location in central london thames in the background is fucking classic we're gonna get to battle number two of the day you know the score mc on my right hand side battle number two we have live winter make some noise it's got it. <laughs> On my left hand side, I, I was gonna say second battle, but it's kind of third battle because I certainly did on Friday. So, third battle, your craft team makes a noise. Yeah. 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 Pedro Battles on the main channel. If you haven't seen Crafties and the Child Battle, please watch it. It's fucking great, bro. Okay, we flipped off camera. This is a judge battle. We were going to do a promo. They wanted to judge. It's great. I appreciate that very much. Crafty wanted to go first. Round of one on Crafty. Let's go. Yo. Yeah. Now, are you, man, roll out, squabbling in a checkpoint? <laughs> <laughs> I was writing bars of Peace Soldier. This white bitch about to get destroyed. Because, yo, I don't want people familiar with my work to twitch their eyes. Because in the last battle, she was calling herself a bitch and dyke. See, you're the typical type to whinge and cry. The systems died, the picture life is victimized. But that afflicted life is fictionalized because you flip it in the scripts you write. For example, you spend your tryout spitting by licking out chips, clips, and stuff. <laughs> then got offended when you got called a pig bitch and slut. You can't write poetry, you can't write poems preaching feminism and cry for help and use words like dyke to describe yourself. It's hypocritical. <laughs> <laughs> It's hypocritical, because then you stereotype men in the filthiest way. In your poem, Don't Be That Guy, you try to fill us with shame. It was an event called Bitter Bitter, but I couldn't swallow that pill, because then you say if you wear a snapback and you spat raps and you're guilty of rape, fuck you. Stop attacking other people. You're a twat and it's clear, plus those concepts have been stretched more than those gaps in your ears. Oh. <laughs> what you do ain't lyrical. It's waste and typical, those fuck men poems you write, live. They ain't original, but at least when others do it, it's based on principle. You're a self-confessed slut, so what you state is fictional, and all you tweet about is sleeping about. You act like you're a bitch. Why criticize men's behavior if you don't actually resist you're repeating the same old sport? It's like Gatsby when you spit to start a tryout with your nerves at the top. You have to be a prick. So listen, I'm advancing through the game to achieve the new levels. You can't just write about your gender and think it makes you special. You're a god of raps. What do you want? A badge from Blue Peter and two medals? <laughs> <laughs> You're a golden raps. What do you want? A badge from Blue Peter and two medals? What, because you got a gun tattoo and a sleeve done? Ooh, rebel. <laughs> 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 against Pedro, against Pedro, you were self plagiarizing the bars that you spat. Don't think that was gonna get past crafty like that. There were reused lines from your own poem called Can't Argue With That, and then you called your opponent a lazy writer. Oh, can't argue with that. Because <laughs> I'm a feminist, Liv. I believe in equality, I believe in equality, I think we're making amends. But it's artists like you, you're just fakes who pretend you waste all your energy just hating on men and using words that when used against you, you're taking offence. So go on, keep pretending it's gender that's holding you back in the hope that they won't actually knock that your whack. Because what's ironic, without gender politics and policies involved, you probably have been told no for quality control. See, it's a nifty game you play. You abuse misogyny just to hide your rhyming, but it's like 50 shades of grey. You had to use controversy to disguise poor writing. Mm. <laughs> So, Crafty, <laughs> I watched your battle against Ambi. Yeah, and I could really see you put your all in. But fuck me, weren't it boring? <laughs> your delivery was appalling, and I can't believe, I can't believe you took the letters out of his name. What is this, 2008? <laughs> but here he is, shit, Mr. Self proclaimed best newcomer. Yeah? Well, I didn't notice you come in, and I wouldn't have voted for your win because I found your general demeanour to be quite um, embarrassing. Because <laughs> I got this feeling, you know? You're a posh boy. Yes, you're a posh boy, and I just know it. I could go through your closet and I would find a lacrosse kit. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little bit, 
you're a little bit more rat race and trap game. I'm sure your mum still gives you money on a Saturday. Not once has she ever had to say, son, please, would you just put that gat away? <laughs> See, my first clue, my first clue was the fact that you, my first clue was the fact that you do bang said the gun because bang said the gun's just full of middle class cunts and failed drama students who still live with their mums. But I bet she's, but I bet she's, but I bet she's so excited about your next album. <laughs> <laughs> and I listened to your SoundCloud, by the way, yeah, and you had me worried. Are you struggling? Is the city getting you down? Are you having a difficult time doing fuck all but working on your sound? <laughs> You opened it like, don't let these words be misrepresent. Bruv, who did you think was listening to them? <laughs> and why are you so worried about your words getting bent when it's just 15 tracks about your ex-girlfriend? <laughs> and this lot might take you serious on this lot might take you serious on some JME, but I see free like skepta bruv, because that's not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you talk about you performing at Banks at the Gun, but that's a sick event. One of the dopest in Britain, Liv. You, you just perform at these open mics in weird hippie cafes where nobody's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is an opportunity I'm seizing, and one you don't deserve. I'm more respected as a rapper, I'm more respected in spoken words. See, what I've noticed and observed, Liv, is when I perform poems, I get the audience respect. When you perform yours, they're always talking through your set. Because <laughs> in one of your YouTube sets, right, I'm about to tell you this fact. You finished your poem and had to tell them to clap. <laughs> <laughs> you finished your poem and had to tell them to clap. Because what I've noticed and observed, Liv, is that. <laughs> but yeah, we're both, born, we're both born September 11th. It's true. Um, that's all that's September 11th. Crazy. That's what you're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all we have in common. But that's all we have in common because you're past static. Unlike the Twin Towers that day, I'm certain you can't damage. You've got bars you can't manage and heart you can't challenge. See, my lyrics terrorise. It will be past tragic when I kill you right here because this is like 9 11. When the craft clashes, that's the builder's nightmare. She's a builder. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's actually a builder. <laughs> I'll make lips sleep her. Grim Reaper, bring ground zero to holes. You're not a builder, you're a chim sweeper. That's why I dig deeper ground, zero from holes. So I'm about to despirit your soul. Because these rounds you get embodied. Bars for the terror. Round three for me, that's margin for error. Either way, you make a mistake. You can win the flip and make me go first, or I'll win with flips and erase your whole third. It's like anything you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll win with flips and erase your whole bird Cause anything you refute, I'll refute you Ever so futile This everything in the kitchen sink to a few tiles It's like I dance to every rhythm It's like I dance to every rhythm But you lack many grooves You can't match any moves It's a catch-22 when you're facing strength of wit And penmanship Since you don't sell sets You can set sell It's a penmanship Stretched out bars yes. Set cell, it's a penmanship, stretched out bars To leave your tendons split, bar sharp like a knife Need a tension split, see my thumbs off chain like independences I smoke hot flames in my sentences, but this is don't flop blame Ain't no censorship, so it's gonna be non-stop pain That's a membership, but that makes sense a bit. <laughs> Stop pain, that's a membership, cause that makes sense a bit Cause you follow terms and conditions, those words have been rinsed out The terms you've conditioned, in terms of condition I'm at my peak now, your condition terminal It's about to get peak now, you're declining Each track I make, my future's getting fresh and broader Borderline depression from your sets, kill vibes Each session's torture, yours like immigration the more you give us, the more we're getting bored this odd bird ain't sharp enough You're moving down the pecking order, so yo since what you're doing is a farce, you were losing on the card You were fuming in advance that forward movement in your car Since I'm truer to the art and you're manoeuvring apart I'll remove you from the cast like improvement in your arms <laughs> Some are doing it for bars Some are doing it for bars Others doing it for laughs I'm just doing it to prove in this your two minutes to pass Cause you're trying to count them Bunch of drunk 16s, that was easy to pop Now you've got a room full of hungover MCs <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you've got <laughs> Crafty, 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 answer me please and try and do it with some honesty. Do you really believe that what this scene needs is another white boy writing poetry about the streets? <laughs> Woe is me, she never sleeps. <laughs> I 
I feel her move beneath my feet. Rob, please, you've got no originality. How did you think that you could manage me? Because all you ever say is cliches that you replay, whereas I've got a video at 55k. <laughs> In fact, now, me and my friend Pedro, we're fast approaching 60,000 views. And next month, you can catch my interview at Dazed and Confused, because, honey, this is only a training day for you. And, and outside... This is actually what I do. So enjoy your moment, babes, because you're welcome to ride my wave. I'm a grafter, I'm not afraid of the times it takes, and I'm not chasing the fame that this rhyming makes to just have something to say, and I require a stage. Crafty, you're irrelevant, and I'm a business investment, and you can't compete with the heat. I've been setting them, and the difference is, it weren't me that was telling them. Nah, because other people said it for me. Best newcomer, Crafty? No. Bitch, please, I disagree. Damn. Let's go, make some noise, man. Alright Liv, yeah, your battle got more views than mine. That wasn't for your rap sound. I'm a borrow a heretic bar, let me see how that sounds. Because the only memorable part of that round was that one black chick, she was standing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was the main talk of the comments and forums. How she was matching on the schools, got battered by Pedro, or looks like she out of one of them Channel 4 sex shows like Made in Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> like Made in Chelsea. So it's blatant, they'll see your career's on the get-go Cause when you get going, well it'll be just like a tree when it lands in the forest When they only remember you for your missus made in Chelsea like Fernando Torres <laughs> 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 So your earring game brings tears and pain <laughs> Your sense of fashion hurts Plus those pattern skirts and tacky shirts You're not a ration person, you're lacking worth This ain't a match you've earned, now that's confirmed You'll crash then burn to ash in urns and don't flop What's the family guy obsession with the battles you send? I mean battling Pete and I'm battling Meg <laughs> But when it comes to newcomers, I'm the rapper that's best. That's the title that ain't debatable, like C Battle and Jed. So watch me finish off an essay. Like when you work out the word count, because my chain, different type of title, like the word count, and you spit like, you're probably just gonna like call me a lesbian. But... <laughs> Cause you spit like, you're probably just gonna like, call me a lesbian But I'll prove that I'm ready to go war with the veterans I keep saying I'm a lesbian cause I want some attention <laughs> I'm a lesbian because I want some attention, mate. They're supposed to be insults, not rhetorical questions. <laughs> was kind, because it was actually in rhyme. You use single syllable couplets, no pattern scheme designed, in mm. fact your rapping scheming's like an anatomy that's dying, no complex flows and structures there, just cavities and lines and against Don't Flop, mm. against Don't Flop, <laughs> <laughs> against Pedro, you said he didn't write because you're a girl. Yeah well it's clear he should, because then you rhymed weed with weed and is with noises. <laughs> <laughs> then you said that he couldn't write, and you were calling it insulting. Your Facebook name is Fuck Life Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thought it was a moldy. <laughs> I'm not like Pedro. I ain't gonna try kiss you on the cheek. Don't be no pleasantries exchanged. I wanna represent the league and be a centerpiece for change. See, my weaponry's got pedigree and seconds things can change. You just bat five minute rounds in that battle. Telling me you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> the time limit exists, Liv. For every MC, it's the same. You've disrespected the league. It's only enemies you've made. My rounds were lengthened today. But I was leveling the game. Because if you go over the 90 for some extra time, well, there's always penalties to pay. <laughs> you're saying that I'm a fake poet? I'm the only real poet here. You ain't even been booked for shows comparing me to you. I'm like Caesar when stood in Rome. I said in my last battle, I'm like Tywin. And then either is good to go, because when they said that winter is coming, I just seized her and took the throne. And now you... I just seized her and took the throne. And now you die in the ring, because I am the king. Your trial was unjudged. I arrived with a win. Yeah, your spitting mm. game made little waves, but now try if you swim. I show those ripples fake like Triple H, and I am the sting, the polar man. <laughs> The poll online said you win. Well, that's fine, but the thing but is the climate stays. That's okay. Threw me off now. Sting. I am the uh, sting. I am the sting. Um, I am the sting. 
Your first try was untouched. I arrived when you're spitting game, made little waves, but now try if you swim. I show those ripples fake like Triple H, and I am the sting. The pole online said you win. Well, that's fine, but the thing is the climate stays swing, which means we see a change in the time and the winds. I hear you cry. What's this mean? Why well, bother writing this scheme? Well, you called yourself Live Winter. You just died in the spring. <laughs> You just can't fuck with me because I'm aware of all my flaws. So for the next 90 seconds, let me help you work through yours. You said you'd never do a battle. You said you'd never do a battle that didn't get judged. Well, I guess that's what private education does. Because you can chop, you can stop chasing grades now, babe. That's fucked. Because Crafty really strikes me as a code switcher. You can jam with your crew like yeah, I'm with you, but they all know your load's richer. And just because you can alternate your vernacular, it won't disguise how whack you are. You're just cracked out bar after cracked out bar for Crafty. You're not really working on your craft very hard Because you thought you'd just put on your rap jacket and snap back it <laughs> You heard some Eminem and thought, fuck me, I'll have a crack at you <laughs> What's some advice for you in it? You should stop spitting I want you to leave the poetry circuit Because I don't want to hear your minutes You were supposed to bring your A game and yet you came with that You know you come a lot harder when you bother to push back <laughs> Time <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give this battle to Crafty, but I'll give him the second two rounds. I thought Liv Winter actually took the first, but that's how it goes. Yo, close. Damn. It was a uh, 3 nothing for Crafty. Crazy pen game. Crazy. Like, really good writing. I, I gotta, honestly, I'm gonna have to get his uh, PayPal. You know what I mean? The writing's getting. You know, really good battle. I've never seen either of them before. Very impressed with uh, Crafty's writing. It's 3 0 3. But big up Liv as well. It's nice to see him. She's tired, um, and it was very poetic and shit. But big up, both of them, 3 0 crafty. Wow. Um, just judging Craft Green versus Living Hard. Uh, Craft Green got that. Living Hard was really good. Uh, they printed all the Pedro about the ones that we want to see it back. But Craft Green's breakdown and punches are baby. It's going to be a problem lifting. Oh, yeah. Hiya. You know what, guys? Right. Um, I give it. I give it all three to Craft Green. But well, Lip, Lip was fucking sick. But I just thought, I thought Craft Green's there. It's fucking wrong. So I give it all. Yo, it's Earl, we're here at my special secret location training days number three. It was fucking crazy, but it was so good to see Live Black and Crafty as well. Give up both MC, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. And uh, anyone that judged that the dude gonna win is Crafty in here, make sure.